Alright guys, so today I'm going to teach you how to tie a very simple mangrove snapper rig. Now get yourself either some mono or fluorocarbon. 20 to 30 pound is what I like to use. And with this rig you can use it for just simple live bait fishing for like redfish, maybe even snook, sometimes small jacks. And it's really simple. So, oh, well, that's not good. There's a nut right there. Oh well, but you want about foot and a half of liter, I'd say. Let's go ahead and cut that. I'll untangle that later. But you cut it. Now, this is a one knot octopus circle hook. This is the eagle claw. I don't, this is uh, just any type of fluorocarbon should work and any type of small circle hook should work. Make sure it has a nice little gap. And what you do is you tie a fisherman's knot or you could tie a polymer, it doesn't really matter what knot you tie as long as it's a good knot. And let's just go ahead and put that through. Usually I tie a polymer, but I like getting a little bit more line out and then tying to tie a polymer, but there's a knot in that spool, so I kind of can't do that right now. So once you do that, I like using a little bit of a smaller swivel, but I got no sw small swivels right now. So what you do is you get a ball bearing swivel, so that way if the fish, um, so that way if your bait's spinning, it won't spin up your line. That's what you also do with spoons and everything like that. What you do is you go like that, tie another knot. Doesn't really matter what knot you tie, as long as it's a good knot. Frick. And then you tie that. Make sure it's all nice and tight, which is very simple to do. You just grab both ends, pull. Make sure your taggins are short, especially where your hook is at. Now, when using scissors, you don't gotta be as careful, but when using a knife, you gotta be more careful. And yeah, very simple mangrove snapper rig. Now, for mangrove snappers, it's really, it depends on the area. If you're fishing mangroves in like a kayak or something, it's nice to have a little bit of a nice long rod. This is a medium heavy, seven foot. It's, it's actually a really like sensitive rod but it's really strong. I've caught sharks on this thing too. It's pretty, it's pretty nice. I had a Shimano Sienna reel on this, but I'm fixing it up right now. So I kind of can't show you that right now. But usually what I do is I just tie another fisherman's knot right there. And the leader is so that way, if it like hits on a rock or gets caught on a tree, you have more, you have a little bit of stronger edge on it in order to get it out. It's usually what you gotta do because mangrove snappers they like structure around where I around where I'm at they love to stay in bridges of rocks I'm in northern Florida so we don't get mangroves but this is a really good this is really simple really good rig if it's got if it's really uh, wavy and your baits getting dragged all over the place it's always good to put a little bit of a weight on and you put the weight on after this. So what you do is well, put the weight on and then you tie this on. You don't want to put the weight on here because what will happen is it will start sliding. The fish picks it up and then the swivel stops it. The fish feels the weight and it drops it. I've had I've experienced that a lot. But yeah, it's really simple. You This can also be a croaker rig if you really want. But it's a really good rig in general. Doesn't matter what you catch with it. Probably one of the easiest ways, if I can remember how, have it done in a little bit. So just do store it, make a simple loop, wrap it three times, wrap it once with the hook, pull a little bit, and go like that. Probably one, probably a very simple way to do it. There's probably a little bit better of a way, but that's the only way I know how to do it since I mean. I mean, I make a snapper rig a lot, it's just I don't 
cure them like that. So yeah. Anyways, that's it for today.